So now we will continue with this uh, some important polymers. Under some important polymers, I'm going to continue with Teflon. Teflon is a, it is a polymer of a monomer, which is, it is a polymer of tetrafluoroethylene, which is F2C double bond CF2, which on polymerization gives you Teflon. Which on polymerization gives you Teflon. So NCF2, CF2, in the presence of NH4 twice, S2O8 at around 870 to 1020 Kelvin, we have polymers of this. What is a Teflon? It is a thermoplastic polymer. Thermoplastic polymer with high softening point. To soften it, you need a lot, like give high temperature, which is around 600 Kelvin. It is difficult. It is very tough, hard. It is, uh, it is inert. It is inert to most chemicals except fluorine and also it reacts with molten alkali metals. Importantly, it withstands high temperatures Its electrical properties makes it an ideal insulating material. These are some properties. These are some properties. So, non-stick cookware is made up of Teflon. Just a minute. So, the non-stick cookware and all is made up of Teflon. We have Teflon used in a lot of other... Uh, Bodies also like car and like vehicle bodies are also made up of Teflon. So I'm clearing the screen. This bunch is about Teflon that you have to know. Next we have nylon. Types of nylon. I'm clearing this. Whoever has um, just entered can take a screenshot of this. I'm going to the next polymer. The next polymer, polymer is nylon 6,6. Six. The next one. Is nylon 6 comma 6. This is a polymer resin. It is a condensation polymer. You, I, I told you what is condensation polymer. Na? So it is a condensation polymer. It is formed by 
reaction between adipic acid very important adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine why do we call them as six com why do we call it as nylon or six comma six because both monomers consist of six carbon atoms and therefore named nylon six comma six so i am just writing this for your information but it's okay if you don't remember it minus water we have c CH two four times C double bond O N H CH two six N H dash. This is nylon six, which is a condensation polymer. What else we have to know is it is a thermoplastic polymer. thermoplastic polymer it has great tensile strength elasticity and luster it is chemically inert this is about nylon 6 also called as perlon l this is a it is a polyamide it is prepared by prolonged heating prolonged heating of caprolactam at 530 to 540 kelvin temperature that's how it's made so this is actually identical to normal nylon only it is identical to nylon in all properties so to just draw and understand nh c double bond o 540 kelvin 
is giving you CH2 five times, C double bond O N H, CH2 five times, same C double bond O N H. Just write it beside only. This is nylon six. If you're done, I'll just clear this. Assuming you all are done. I just have a small table, which you have to remember. I'm writing the name of polymer. structure actually the structure is only equal to monomer and in the structure i put i'll put the uh, monomer in the brackets and write n at the end so that only will be your monomer also oh no oh, there's slight change and the uses of them so this one table is we are done with the whole chapter of polymers specifically so Firstly, polyethene CH2, CH2, N. CH2, double bond, CH2 is the monomer. Polyethene is used as an insulator. It is anti corrosive. It is used as packing material. And Laboratory wares. That is the first one. Polystyrene, whose structure is CH, CH2, C6H5, N. This is CH double bond CH2, C6H5. This is again an insulator. It is used as wrapping material. It is used in the manufacture of toys and also households, household articles. Third, polyvinyl chloride whose shortcut is PVC has a CH2, CH, Cl, N. This is CH2 double bond CHCl. It is used in the manufacture of raincoats, handbags, vinyl flooring, and leather clothes. The fourth one is poly poly tetra fluoro ethylene, which is called as Teflon, also called as PTFE whose structure is CF2, CF2, N, and this is CF2, double bond CF2. Uses are, it's used as a lubricant, insulator, cooking wares, that's it. I'll keep, I'll keep clearing the first one, then second and so on, I wanted to Keep copying. The fifth one is polymethyl meta acrylate, which is called as P 
PMMA or plexiglass. Whose structure is CH two, C CH three, COO CH three, and which is CH uh, two double bond C CH three, COO CH three. Uses is it is used as a substitute of glass, and it is used in making decorative materials. That's for PMMA. Next, let's write for Orlon. Orlon. Sixth one is Orlon, which is called polyacrylonitrile. CH two, CH, CN, N times, and CH two double bond CHCN. It is used in making synthetic fibers and synthetic wool. Seventh, styrene, butadiene, rubber, which is buna s, whose structure is CH two CH double bond CH, CH two CH, CH two. C six H five, and the monomer involved is the two monomers actually. One is H two C double bond C H C H double bond C H two. The second monomer is H C double bond C H two C six H five. Because it's a combination. It is used in making automobile tires. Auto, mobile, tires, and footwear. Eighth one. Nitrile rubber. That is buna n. Again, this is CH two CH double bond CH CH two CH CH two. Everything is exactly same. You here have CN. So the two are CH two double bond CH 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 two. B is CH double bond CH two CN. Cn at the bottom. This is used in making hoses and tank linings, oil seals. You have to be a bit more, bit patient. There's so much to write. Oh shit. I'm clearing two at a time. Ninth, neoprene or chloroprene. CH two, CCl, double bond CH, CH two. So we are completing. We have completed polymers chapter. Uh, we will like today. I want to complete um, metallurgy as the next chapter. 
it is used as insulator it is used in making conveyor belts it is used in making printing rollers the 10th one poly ethyl acrylate which is ch2 ch c bobo c2h5 n ch2 double bond ch see for objective this is what they'll ask you again this is used in making house pipes finishing fabrics Eleventh, terylene, which is also called as dacron. A is H O O C C O O H B H O CH two, CH two OH. This is used for making fibers, safety belts, tents, etc. Just five, five more, five, six more. Twelve. Nylon six. CH two. Five. C double bond O. N. N H. C double bond O. Used in making fibers, plastics, tire cords, ropes. Nylon six six. NH two, CH two six times. NH zero, CH two four times. Zero N. Again, there are two. One is H C O C H two four times C O O H. B it is H two N C H two six times N H two. This is used in making brushes, parachutes. Carpets, ropes. Just four more. I'll just clear the screen at a time. I can clear the screen. Is there anyone who's copying?
so we have Bakelite, For gears, protective coating, electrical fitting, urea, formaldehyde resin. All this one thing. NH, CO, NH, CH3, N. HCHO, NH2CO, NH2. This is used for making unbreakable cups, laminated sheets. Next, we have last two only. Don't worry. Melamine, formaldehyde, resin which is NH, NH.
uses some writing here. This is used as packaging orthopedic devices and it is used in controlled drug release. This is the end of the table. In fact, the chapter also. This is the end of the polymers topic. Just write down, we'll clear this. Can I clear? Done, great. So as we are done with polymers, I want to start with metallurgy. Let's see if I start now itself. So I hope polymers is, see polymers is completely by uh, remembering of these structures that is complicated, obviously, but then you'll have to remember all these monomeric structures in JE and NEET, they will ask you, but in NEET, they might ask you this easy Teflon and uh, Dacron, things like this. Uh, but in JE, they will definitely ask you all these um, which, you, which are there in this table. So you have no other options. And you also have to remember these uses, like uh, making these uh, parachutes and all, no? Those which are a bit uh, known. Paka, this table is like very important for the whole chapter. It's more like a revision of this topic also, which we just done, have done. In detail, we have understood. Later, this is just like a, a revision wala table, which is, which is going to cover the whole chapter. We'll have to start with the um, metallurgy of class 12 is going to tell you about different ores and from which how from these ores, how do we extract different metals? For every metal, we know there are so many ores, and from more from principal. Course, we are going to extract the metals. We start. So we know, I think you might have heard about these basic purification techniques like roasting, calcination, Froth flotation, hydraulic washing, at least all these you might have heard. At least, you know, 10 standard metals and non metals, if they have taught you a bit about O's. Yes, ma'am, we learned. Very good.
so i think you have to first remember they different minerals and ores mineral what is a mineral it's a natural compound of a metal and a non metal metals can be extracted from minerals itself a naturally existing solid material from which we get this valuable metals um or minerals that's called ore ore is a naturally existing material from which we can extract metals or maybe first mineral and then uh, the metals ore is something which does not contain only metal or the mineral but it also contains impurities or undesired materials which are also called as gang so all ores will be called as minerals but not all minerals are ores so when you have important metals like aluminium the ores important ores are bauxite which is al2o3.2h2o corundum which is al2o3 we have iron has important ores hematite magnetite siderite iron pyrite fe2o3 fe3o4 fecv3 fes2 so for copper you have copper pyrite copper glands malachite azurite all this cufes2 cus malachite is cu co3 dot cuoh twice azurite is 2 cu co3 dot cuoh twice similarly for zinc these all you have no other option other than remembering okay zinc we have zinc blend which also called as sphalerite or you have calamine zincite zinc blend is zns calamine is zn co3 this is zno for lead please uh, i think your hands must be must be by now lead we have galena angel side which is pbs pbso4 magnesium carnalite magnesite dolomite epsom salt are also called as epsomite carnalite is kg is kcl mgcl2.6h2o kcl mgcl2.6h2o kcl mgcl2.6h2o kcl mgcl2.6h2o all right for them tin Cassiterite, which is SnO two, I'll just write for the magnesium. Do you some time? and this is mgco3 dot caco3 i'm thinking this is mgso4 dot 7h2 just i'll give you in a while this is silver we have silver glands which is argentine argentite we have pyrargyrite which is called ruby silver we have chlorargyrite 
which is called horn silver ag2s ag3sbs3 agcl magnet uh, it is not mag it is magnesite no? mg c 3 Yeah, we are done. Okay. So metallurgy, overall, what is it? It's a process which is used for the extraction of metals from its ores. So when you have uh, metallurgy means you have to extract the metals. How do you extract? We have different process. First, you have to isolate the mineral from the ore, then extract the metal. And it actually is done by four major steps under which you might have substance. The first process, I'm just clearing the screen. The major steps under metallurgy is first crushing of the ore. Dressing are called as concentration of the ore. Isolation of the crude metal from the ore. Purification or refining of the metal. These are the four steps under the metallurgy. So this crushing and grinding is a normal thing. You have big, big machines, different crushers, and you crush the ore. Then you try to grind the whole ore into powder. That's called pulverization of the ore. You just take different crushers and get it... Uh, get the ore out of it and then grind it into powder and that grinding is called pulverization of the ore. Uh, next is, I'm just giving you small ideas, okay? Then concentration is we try to remove the undesired particles from the ore. That is only is called concentration of the ore, also called as benefication of the ore. Under this, there are different things like Hydraulic washing, electromagnetic separation, fraud flotation, leaching. This is it. These are the four methods. I'm giving you an idea. In the third one, what we have to do is, we have conversion to oxide, first of all. Under this, you have calcination. I'll give you in detail, don't worry. And this is roasting. Again, this is A. B is what? That is, you first convert the metal into metal oxide. Then again, you there is reduction involved. Reduction of metal oxide to the metal. Again, under which you have different term, um, like you have smelting, you have self-reduction, metal displacement method, 
electrolytic reduction no 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 self so roasting is under this and conversion of oxide and reduction of metal oxide to metal okay purification again we have see these are all for the fourth one for purification what happens you have liquidation distillation zone refining chromatographic methods vapor phase refining that's it like see this is a outlook of what we are going to learn so these are the four methods under which we have first one is over nothing to talk about the first one second one we have four small things uh, third one also is um, like all of this in detail we are going to learn it's an outline i have given you so this is an idea if you can write down write down otherwise um, for you to just understand how many parts are there so we are done for the day i'll continue in the next class in detail we'll start with the second step and we'll write notes thank you i'll see you again in the next class thank you you'll have test only on polymers and if we can complete a bit of metallurgy i'll just combine maybe five five questions from both the topics and give you a test on uh, sandeep Thank you all. Good night.